A hung computer is generally based on, um, or how you would choose one is based on that, what you do with it. There's a, a, a lot of technology questions you have to ask, what do you do with it first before I can give you an, an adequate answer. So I'm just going to go over a couple of them. There's the low-end ones uh, that uh, Dell, HP sell out of the box. Um, they're generally good for, uh, you know, grandma, grandpa that likes to play, you know, solitaire and things like that. Look at pictures, not really do too terribly much uh, 3D graphics wise or audio wise. They just kind of want to be able to hear sound. Then also they just want to be able to surf on the internet and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then you have the kind of the mid-range one, which is uh, they generally have graphics cards and, and uh, mid-range graphics cards and mid-range uh, sound cards. So those uh, those kind of are targeted towards teenagers, college kids, and the, you'll you'll see those on the websites as uh, mid-range ones or entertainment targeted focused ones. Um, and then there are the high-end ones that uh, gaming and uh, gamers and, and uh, video editors and things like that that they would want. Um, and those generally range, then you, you, at, those, at that level you would break the thousand dollar mark. So where, we, how much do you want to spend, what do you want to do with it, those are very um, uh, uh, needed questions when you buy one. So let's, let's take the mid-range one so uh, you kind of have an idea. Mid-range computers generally have a quad core, which is a one particular central processing unit or brain that is split to four different sections that can, each section can do different things at one time. So obviously that's a little bit better than having one central brain doing one thing at one time. So uh, there's that. And then also they generally have uh, three to four gigabytes of memory. So that will, uh, is very adequate for doing a lot of things at one time um, in, in browsing the internet and keeping high-end programs open all the time like iTunes or Zoom software for music. Um, and then also they'll have generally around 160 to 300 gigabytes of storage space. So that will uh, allow them to store a lot of things at one time. So how do you choose which one's right for you? Uh, well. Very simply, if, if you uh, are a low-end user, you don't think you'll be using the computer that much with the exception of the internet and pictures and things like that, maybe doing taxes, um, it's something that's not so um, engaging uh, on a computer or taxing on a computer. Uh, so you, you'll probably want to go around the low-end models uh, and get a monitor that suits you, so 17-inch, 19-inch, something like that. Um, and those generally range from 500 to say maybe 700. And then the 700 to 1000 would be the mid-range people. That would be the, the college kids. That would be the kind of mediocre kind of uh, gamer. That's somebody that's not a hardcore gamer. Um, and those guys, uh, they would have uh, the specs that I talked about and the high-end ones, uh, which generally come packaged with the 20-inch monitor, uh, very, very high-end graphics card, a lot of storage space, a really great processor, very fast, quad-core processor. Those things usually range from, say, anywhere from $1,200 to $5,000. So it really depends on what you're using it for. But generally, the, how they're packaged on the internet at each individual site will dictate um, what they're used for. So the low-end ones you'll see are priced at very low-end prices, mid-range ones, well, mid-range prices, and so on and so forth. 